guys, welcome back to my channel. Who is in the mood for a little shopping haul today? This is very eclectic shopping haul. I went to Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Hobby Lobby, and Bath and Body Works. Let's start with Bath and Body. It's super simple. All I did was buy my favorite scent. Well, I have lots of different favorite scents, but um, you know, for different times of the year, like at Christmas, I just love their fresh balsam. I love, love, love. Uh, for winter, I love their winter. It's just called winter. It's one of my favorites. I, I start burning it, oh, usually in November and take it all the way through February, sometimes even, even, you know, into March. But my year round favorite is called Comfort and it's their vanilla and patchouli. So they had their little plugins, you know, they do their little sales. It was five for 27. So I stopped in and got five of them. That's a great deal. I love those. It's my favorite scent. All right. I also went to Hobby Lobby. All right. Let me tell you. Hang on. Gotta get situated. So this is a very eclectic uh, shopping haul. I've got some practical things, some fun things, some clothes, some just, I'll just show you. Okay. So I went to Hobby Lobby because I was looking for, I bought these little tabs. Let me show you. I got these little, um, page tabs. I bought these both, uh, two different kinds. This is the same kind, but I bought these a while back a few weeks ago because I'm starting a new Bible study and I wanted to use these tabs for my Bible study. This Bible study is a 24 week study and it takes you through the whole, uh, narrative of salvation of the salvation history, starting in the old Testament all the way through the new Testament. So it's a really cool Bible study. And so I wanted these to mark specific parts of the Bible. I don't know. I mean, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to use it, but I'm excited to use it. Um, I also bought myself a new Bible. Bought myself a new Bible. I got this um, from Ascension. No, not from Ascension. The Bible study I'm doing is from Ascension Press. This is from Ave Maria Press. I love this Bible because it's a journaling Bible. I may have already showed y'all this. I can't remember. But see how it has pages? But that's, um, yeah, mm, there we go. I also got some new highlighter markers. I love these because they're not like, you know, neon highlighter yellow. I'm going to use these in the workbook for the Bible study and probably right in the Bible. I just loved the muted toned down colors. I got these on Amazon. Uh, the brand is, oh, well, hold on. I ordered them on Amazon, so I could put a link, but this is the brand. Something else I got at Hobby Lobby, these stickers. Do y'all ever do that, like journal with stickers or use them in a calendar? I thought these were so, I love this brand, Agenda 52, uh, but look at these. I can use these on my calendar, I can use these in my journal, and I think I can use them in my journaling in my Bible as well, because there's all kinds of different ones. Aren't they, aren't they cool? Look, I'll just show you a few. Aren't they great? I love them. I love the colors and I love what they say. Like this one says goals. I could put that in my journal that I'm about to show you. Oh yeah, I love this. You could put these like at the top of a page. Aren't they cute? I just love them. I just love them. This is something new I'm doing. I don't usually journal, especially in my Bible. Um, so this is, this is new for me. All right, I also got this. This I got at Marshall's. Um, it is a journal of self-care. It's a guided journal. It's called Just Breathe. Got it at Marshall's, but I really liked it. I really, really liked it. So every day, let's see, let me make sure. Yeah. Okay. So every day it has your intention for the day. That could literally be anything. Uh, positive affirmation. I'm a firm believer in positive affirmations, you guys. Here's something as a, an Optavia coach that I tell my clients all the time, all the, all the, all the time. If you constantly have this negative soundtrack running in your brain, you know, saying you can't, it's too hard, um, I'm such a loser, all those terrible negative things we tell ourselves, guess what? You begin to believe them and we always act in accordance with our beliefs. So if you convince yourself through your self negative talk, that you can't do it, then guess what? You won't do it. So yeah, so I'm big into positive affirmations. 
uh, speaking truth into your life. Uh, three ways to be present. You know, like I'm going to be present with Scott instead of on my phone. I'm going to be present with my parents or I'm going to be present, I don't know, anything at church, really being present and focused. <laughs> three things that went well today. Uh, something I learned looking forward to tomorrow. Isn't this cool? And then the next page, it says, choose happy. Describe a time when you were radiantly happy. What do you value most about that moment? It gives you places to start, uh, excuse me, places to write. And then it says, list 10 things that make you happy. So I thought this was a really cool journal. Then the last one is habit tracker, a positive, a positive habit I'd like to practice and then steps to practice this habit. Y'all, this really spoke to me, this part of it, because I, I'm going to talk about my coaching again. So what we do is we teach six macro habits of health and then little mini micro habits to accomplish those big six habits. So this spoke to me really big. Like if I was working on the macro habit of sleep, for instance, what would be some little micro habits that I could do? Well, turn off my digital devices an hour before bed, no caffeine three hours before bed, things like that. So this I think is really awesome. And then on the other page, it says milestones, rewards, and what I've learned from this practice. Self-care. I mean, yeah, this is the last part. All right, self-care. All right, self-care, it tells you to do, do these things. And you don't have to do them all, but check off the ones you did. It says go outside, indulge in a favorite treat, uh, take a nap, try something new, unplug, take a walk, make plans with friends, meditate or prayer, <laughs> declutter your space, read a book. And then this over here, it says express yourself. So you can just write free thinking. And this one is a prompt. The prompt is I am. Now I know I spent a lot of time in here showing y'all this, but you guys, this year, I really do want to do exactly what this says. Self-care. Self-care. It's so important that we take care of ourselves. I always tell people, you got to put that oxygen mask on yourself first. If you're going to help anybody if you're going to be any good for anybody. So I love that. I'm excited to, I'm going to just do baby steps with that because we're starting this. So the Bible study that we're doing, let me just, I'm just really chatty with you guys this week. Um, the Bible study that we're doing, we're doing it as a family. So Scott and I, my daughter and her husband and our grandson, Jackson, who is 12, but he's very, very bright. He, he really is. I'm not just saying that because I'm grandma, but he is really bright. So I think he'll be able to handle this Bible study, even though it's really meant for adults. But anyway, so we're going to do it as a family. And we haven't gotten our, our study books yet. Um, but when we get them, what we're going to do is we're going to pick one night a week that we'll get together, we'll have a meal, and we'll discuss that week's study. What we read, the question and answers, the whole thing. We'll have a little group meeting. So anyway, that's our intention. We'll see how it goes. All right. And this adorable little box that I've been pulling stuff out of, I got this from Marshalls, you guys. Look at this. So all of my little goodies that I need are in there. Just sit at my table or my desk or dining room table, even sit in my chair with this on the table next to me, whatever I want to do, but it's a place to put all the things in. Isn't that cute? And it was like $4.99. Yeah, $4.99 at Marshall's. They had like four different sizes. Okay. What else did I get? Uh, let's stick with Marshall's. Yeah, let's stick with Marshall's. Okay. So, you know, if I have a shopping haul, you know it's going to include some clothes. So I did not disappoint. All right, look at this cute little top. It's solid black. It is by Jane and Delancey. I got it for $16.99. It is just, I love the fabric. It's kind of textured. It's got a little bit of a texture to it. It's got a roll tab, which I, you know, take or leave, I can undo that. But it's just a very cute, casual black. I loved the fabric. Loved the fabric. So, yeah, got that $16.99. I feel very flushed, you guys. Do I look I think I look flushed. Okay, keep going. Okay, so I bought a new coffee pot. Not in this shopping hall, but I, I did get a new coffee pot because mine was 
Oh, it, it, I knew it was on its last leg. It was making a really funny noise. And then the, it started brewing weird. Like it was taking forever. And so I went ahead and bit the bullet and got a new one. And it's so cute. It, it's a Keurig, but it's, I don't know. It's different. It's shaped different. But anyway, I bought that. And then I actually bought a new, um, I'll take y'all in there and show you a new, or at least put a picture or something, a new, uh, Keurig drawer, you know, that you put all the little K cups in and it's bigger and then this, than the one I had, and then this coffee maker is actually smaller than the one I had. So there's some space up there. So of course I'm gonna decorate it. So I thought this would be cute, just sitting up there. I just wanted a little greenery, just sitting there right next to the coffee pot. Isn't that cute? I got this at Marshall's for, I keep taking my glasses off, $9.99. I love it. It's got its own little stand, isn't that cute? And then I, and then I love these, y'all. I go through these quite a bit. Uh, these are these little mini scrub brushes. I love them. I just I have a little bowl kind of holder thing sits right on my sink. Love those, and those were four ninety nine. Tells you this was very eclectic. And then of course you know I went to TJ Maxx, and all I got at TJ Maxx is clothes, <laughs> just clothes. All right, this I'm so excited about. It is so cute. I already tried all this on, but I will try it on for y'all. This is so cute. It's by Zach and Rachel, and it was marked down to $10. Y'all, look how cute this is. It's so cute. And y'all, it's warm enough today I could wear it. I love this. It, oh, yeah. It's it's. What's the fabric? I guess it's polyester, but it feels so good. It, yeah, it is polyester, but it doesn't feel like that scratchy, hot, you know, type polyester. No, I, it's very flowy. Very flowy. Isn't it cute? $10. And I got a sweater. I love this blue, y'all. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. This is Lucky Brand. And it was $24.99. But y'all, it's just kind of an, just a little bit oversized. It's that powder blue. It looks like it's crocheted. I just love it. Let me see what the fabric is. Because it feels really, really good. It's because it's 60% cotton. You know, this is funny. It's 60% cotton and 40% acrylic. I don't know what kind of acrylic they're using, but I would have never guessed. I would have said maybe some polyester, but just because I knew it wasn't 100% cotton, there's no itch, none. So see, I think it just has to have more of the other thing than the acrylic for it to not bother me. Isn't this cute? Then this, y'all. Oh my gosh. I love, 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 love. How many times can I say love? This. This is a cardigan as if I needed another cardigan, but I love the combination of gray and cream or gray and white. Always have. Y'all, this is so cute. Hang on. Let me just, all right. It's by Ada, A-E, is it A-A-E-D, here. Can you see it? Ada, $24.99. All right, this is so soft. I'm gonna find the fabric first. I, I don't know why I'm so focused on the fabrics. I'm usually not. Oh, no wonder. Okay, this one is a rayon polyester blend. So it's it's mostly rayon, it is so soft. Y'all, this is what I want you to see. It's a cardigan, it's just a long gray cardigan. But look, look at this applique embroidery. Isn't that pretty, y'all? It is so, there's no pockets. It's, it's so pretty. I love it so much. $24.99. Okay. That it? I think that's it, y'all. That's it. Okay, I'm going to try on the few little pieces of clothing that I got. Then I'll take you in and show you my uh, new coffee pot. And I'll put the little plant there and see how that looks. Okay, guys, be right back. Hey guys, here is this first little top. I love this top. I love the colors in it. I'm trying to back up here without hitting the bed. I love the way it's made. I love the length of it. I think it is so incredibly cute. And y'all, $10. This was only $10. Love it. Okay, 
keep going. This is, this is taking me towards spring, you know, and it, I'm telling you, we're like, I think we're pushing 80 today. Crazy, crazy Texas weather. Okay, you guys, here is the Lucky Brand sweater. Yeah, it is so cute. It's, it's a great fit, a great length. It has little slits on the sides. I really love it. Like I said, I cannot believe there's acrylic in this. It doesn't feel like acrylic at all. And I love this powder blue color. You know, I've been thinking about getting my colors done. You know what I mean? My daughter did that and she found out that she was summer and that's not what we thought she would be. So anyway, I've thought about it. I wonder if I'm winter. Wouldn't this be considered a winter, this like ice blue? I just wonder because I would have never chose winter for me, but I don't know. Although I look good in bright colors too, I think. I don't know. Anyway, have y'all ever done that? Tell me if you've ever gotten your colors done. I'm thinking about doing it. I don't know why, because I've got every color in the rainbow in my closet, but it'd be nice to know which ones work best for me, you know? Anyway, here's the sweater. Love it. Love, love, love. Okay, you guys, here is this incredibly soft cardigan with a really cute embroidery. Um, I, just, I want you to see the length. So I just put it on with this white button-up blouse. Um, it would be cute with so many things. I really like it with white. Either that or a very light cream, but I think you could do a t-shirt, um, a tank. You could pattern mix. Like if I had, um, if I had a, let's say striped or gingham, you know what I mean? Geometrical pattern that was just gray and white. I wouldn't put any other colors with this just because I wouldn't want it to get too busy or take away from this embroidery because that's what's so beautiful about this. So I, I love this, you guys. Love, love, love it. Love, love, love it. <laughs> okay, guys, one more thing, and then I'm going to show you my cute little coffee pot. Hey, guys, here is the little black t-shirt. I stood back there so you could see the length of it. It's just a kind of a Henley, but it's got a V-neck, so it's not, I don't guess, like a an actual Henley. has the roll tab sleeves, which the sleeves are, um, what's the word? They're fitted enough that the roll tab stays where it's supposed to. I was afraid it was going to be one of those that was going to be falling and look all sloppy, but it really doesn't. Y'all, this is really cute. I love the fabric's got some nice stretch to it, so it's very comfortable. Um, it's very soft. Super cute. Just a basic. Okay, now I'm going to take you off my little tripod, and we're going to go in the kitchen, and you can see my new little coffee pot and drawer thingy that I got, and I'll try out my new little plant on it, see how that looks. I kind of redid my corner over here. I love it. Now, I'm gonna tell you, when I went to go get the new coffee pot, you see this green color? This same coffee pot came in that exact color. And I almost got it, but then I started worrying. Oh, you know, if I ever wanna change up things, that green is just gonna, it's one thing to have a frame, it's a whole other thing to have a coffee pot. You can tell I'm loving that color. That's my newest coffee mug. I love it. All right, so isn't it cute? It's just plain. And then this has wood, which I love. But see, right there, I thought, you know, there's room to put a little plant. Let me see if this one will work. Let's see. I think it will. Maybe too big. Oh, my gosh. It's like it was made for that spot. That's cute, you guys. You know, it just adds a little touch. Just a little touch. All right, done and done. Okay, you guys, that was my very eclectic shopping haul for this week. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, so this week, um, I'm actually having some time to get some things videoed. And to be honest, I have content because I haven't really been getting very many boxes lately. I have decided I'm going to try that armoire subscription again, you know, the rental. I'm gonna try it one more time and just see. So, um, cause it's so fun to do a rental. I love the idea of a rental. So I'm going to try that one again. Um, I should be having a stitch fix coming soon and oh, my boxy charm came the other day. So I've got to do that video. So I've got some content coming and then I'm going to get back on my Octavia videos, my what I eat in a day and leaning green. Like I have this one leaning green that one of my clients gave me. Oh my gosh, y'all. It's called crock pot crack chicken or something like that. It was really, really, really good. So I think that's going to be my next leading green. I'll try to get it done this week. Okay, guys, I hope y'all are having a wonderful, wonderful blessed day. And until we get back together again, you guys stay safe, you stay well, 
and I'll see you next time. I'm out.